Welcome to AfroVision. This channel is your platform for change, awareness, and inspiration. We aim to spark ideas, revive forgotten needs, and build bridges between the diaspora and the motherland, Africa. Our mission is to clear up misunderstandings, challenge stereotypes, and motivate people to strengthen Africa together. We keep you informed about current events on the continent in both English and German, while fostering exchange among Africans worldwide. Let's work together for a strong, united future for Africa. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell. Let's get straight into the video. Angola and the FATF is another crisis looming. Angola is once again in the spotlight of the international financial community. Recently, the country was placed on the gray list by the Financial Action Task Force, FATF. This means Angola has significant weaknesses in combating money laundering and terrorism financing. But what does this actually mean? What does the gray list mean? The FATF's classification carries serious consequences. 1. Loss of trust. Banks and investors now view Angola as a high-risk country. 2. Complicated financial transactions. International transfers and investments are now subject to stricter scrutiny causing delays and higher costs. Three, economic strain. International partners are losing confidence, negatively affecting trade and investment. A looming economic crisis, Angola remains heavily dependent on its oil sector. But even here, challenges persist. Declining production and a high debt burden weigh on the economy. Despite rising global oil prices, the country has struggled to benefit significantly. Combined with the FATF's gray list designation, Angola faces higher costs for both private and public financing, difficulties accessing global markets, a weakened banking sector. What does this mean for individuals and investors? For private investors, Angola is currently a high-risk environment. Stricter regulations in an uncertain currency market make investments more complex and expensive. Anyone planning to invest in Angola should focus on careful planning, reliable local partnerships, and robust risk mitigation strategies. Looking ahead, hope or crisis? Angola now has the opportunity to address these challenges with targeted reforms and rebuild international trust. But time is of the essence. Without significant progress, Angola could face not only international isolation, but also a deeper economic crisis. What do you think? Can Angola rise to meet these challenges? Share your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching until the end. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss a new video. Share it with your friends and family to help spread the message. Thank you for your support. Together, we can make a difference. See you next time on AfroVision.